Good morning, Facebook. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit. Okay, awesome. So this is my take 15. I tried to record a video to post with another video so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll just post that later. Um, let me just see. Let me wait just a few seconds. So good morning. Um, so here's what's in my heart today. As I was doing my yoga practice and um, doing something that like I've been kind of working on is, um, and I couldn't, I can't, I don't know, I'm going to try to post it of what I was doing. Um, hi, Victoria. Hello. So anyways, as I was um, doing my yoga practice, I was in a wide leg stance and then I went up to a headstand and that's something that I've been working on. Um, and the reason that works is because our body has muscle memory. So there's a couple types of yoga practices like Bikram yoga and Ashtanga yoga where you're doing the, like the same exercise, um, the same practice literally every time. So, you know, each time you're going deeper and deeper into your fold and you're holding your, you know, your balance poses longer, you know, eventually you'll be able to do those. That's just me. I'm just goal driven. So that's what I love about yoga is I see like certain like arm balances and stuff. I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And if I keep doing, you know, my body will remember that. And that brings me to my message of, of what really, you know, Women at the Well is all about. Um, Women at the Well is um, a ministry that I founded and we are growing and I'm excited and we're healing people. Uh, but our, our focus now is, is we want to know like, like, why are people hurting? Why are people hurting? And it's like an underlying cause. Good morning, John. It's an underlying cause. And here's the deal is, is like, there's so much, the enemy is just so, such at work in our world. And he starts with, at young age. So like, he starts with the, with, you know, the pedophiles and abusing, sexually abusing children. And the thing about it is, is like, when, when you're sexually abused as a kid, a child, you forget about it. Usually like they have memory loss. And what, especially if you're really young, you have memory loss about it. You don't remember it. But here's the deal is your body keeps score. Your body never forgets it. And so whether that be your trauma was some sort of sexual abuse or you're, you grew up with an alcoholic parent or you saw one of your parents get abused or you saw somebody murdered or you saw a terrible accident, you went to war, you know, you have all of this is post-traumatic stress disorder, but it manifests in our body into addictions, into mental illness. You know, there's a lot of people, I used to, when I was a nurse, I worked in a mental health ward and I remember going through their charts and most all of the people there uh, were sexually abused as a child. So, um, anyways, so that was interesting. And then also, um, it could be, uh, the addictions of, it could be sex, sex addiction. It could be sugar. It could be, um, over-exercising. It could be eating disorders. Um, gosh, the list goes on. I mean, if something's your God or your idol, that's your, it's an addiction to me. You know, if you're going to something to, uh, you know, take the edge off. That's an addiction in my opinion. So basically, you know, what we're learning is, is like, I've always been about the whole from the get go when I started my walk in 2006. Um, and then I got into fitness training in 2007. I've always been about healing the whole, because if one gets out of order, then everything gets out of order. Um, and traditional therapy is, is, is great. Traditional therapy is great, but uh, it doesn't address the body issues. So you know, whether, whatever your trauma was, you could have been in a terrible accident, but it manifests in your body. Um, and I think that heroin, did it, heroin epidemic that's going on right now has a lot to do with it. So it's interesting because, um, you know, yoga is all about that. It's we're, we're dealing with the body and healing the body. Um, cause that's where you're manifesting your memories is in your body. And I'm reading this book now called The Essential Guide of Healing uh, because Jesus still heals today. I mean, I've seen it in my own life twice where Jesus healed me of my autoimmune diseases. And and so I know that um, I brought that on myself because of my unforgiveness or whether that was just daddy issues or my husband, you know, I held on to it and I was unforgiving and bitter and it made me sick, right? And they hit it on the head here. It says humankind has been dehumanized by the humanist movement and the unity of body, soul, and spirit, the whole, okay? As a result, modern medicine treats the patient's symptoms with medicine rather than treating the underlying causes of sickness. Is that not the truth? Do they not just want to give you a pill? And, you know, we want to know why. 
why are you this way? Why are you cutting yourself? Why are you, why do you have this eating disorder? You know, you just didn't wake up with a, you know, with an addiction. You know, it's something that happened to you in life. You didn't deal with it. Um, and now it's manifesting in your body or in some type of addiction. This is the beginning to change, however, with the field of psychosomatic medicine, which is rediscovering and affirming, though often unaware, the biblical view of a person as a whole in which one part becomes ill, it can affect the other too, right? More and more Christians are also discovering the spiritual aspects of disease and pointing to the soul as the seat of the will and emotions. It's become clearer, therefore, that when the principles of Scripture are not followed, the soul becomes sick, resulting in unforgiveness, bitterness, cynicism, and judgmentalism. And so um, here's the deal. is on May 25th at Ginghamsburg Church, um, at the Avenue, we are having a night at the well. Okay. We're going to be having holy yoga and it's holy yoga because Jesus is the intention because Jesus is still healing people. I realize there's still people out there like the cessationists, they call them, they, they believed that all that stopped, uh, with the disciples, but that's not true. Um, we have the power in us. We have an extreme power in us. Um, and we're, a lot of us are walking around not using it. Well, my ministry, our ministry, we're using it. So that night we're going to be doing holy yoga. We're going to be having a healing service. We're going to be laying our hands on some sick people. And they're going to walk out healed because Jesus is going to be there uh, that night. We're going to have food. Um, so invite your friends and come. It's on my website, racheltucker.org. Um, and it's under a night at the well. Um, it's, you know, we are a 501c3 ministry. So the only way we run is by a financial gifts. So get on there and um, get your seat. You don't have to be a woman to come. If you had some trauma, you need some healing, get your ticket, get your spot. Um, and we are um, getting ready to take it to the ends of the earth, baby, because that's what he's called us to do is go and preach the word and heal people. And that's what we're doing. So um, I hope that you will check out that night. Uh, check out my website. If you feel it on your heart to, to give to our mission, you know, that, that is what we need. We cannot run and function without financial gifts. You know, I believe your tithes go to the church, but you know, to run this mission, you know, we, we need our financial gifts, uh, because we are going to be going into other places, um, for free and doing these things. So that takes our time, you know, that takes gas, that takes, you know, money. So, um, I hope that you will uh, pray about that, but Either way, check out A Night at the Well on my website, racheltucker.org. And if you're just getting on, make sure you listen. Go back and listen to the whole thing uh, because you don't have to walk around like this anymore. I mean, we were designing God's image, beautiful and wonderful, and he wants us to live an abundant life. And the cool thing about it is, is although the devil tried to destroy you as a kid, God is so good that he made our brains plastic, that we can be changed and we are rising up and we are going to be doing that. All right. It happened to me and it can happen to you. So I hope that you will join us on that night. And um, we would love to come to your town and your church and bring a night at the well to wherever you are. So um, we love you guys. God bless.